Welcome to Manager League Training. Today we're going to go over the Report Generate tool. So if you go here into Members, Players and Parents, then go down to Player Parent Reports, you can go over to Report Generate. What Report Generate will do is it'll actually um, allow you to create either a spreadsheet or report right on the screen uh, that is customizable. So any information that you want to include uh, based on parent register or player registrations, um, you can choose which options or which items you want in the report. You can generate the report and then decide to export it to a CSV file, uh, Excel file, spreadsheet, um, or you can display those options right on the screen. So up here at the top, there's a couple different options. There's a sport option, uh, league format if you want to look at specific leagues, uh, and then you have your league. In most cases, if you're a single or individual league, you'll see just your league up here. Now you have report types. You have registration. You have membership if you collect membership fees and have memberships. Uh, and then you also have the general breakdown, which is going to be kind of the same thing you'll see on the league breakdown page. The most important one here is going to be the registration report type. So now if we scroll down here, uh, you will see a couple options. You can choose which season. Uh, you want the report to be from. If you're going to put evaluations on the report, you can choose which season you want for the evaluations. Um, registration status, if you want to pull all the players who are registered, uh, all the players who are in tryout, all the players who are withdrawn, waitlisted, or if you want all the players, uh, all the registrations that are in the system for this season. So once we get down here, this is where we can choose our options. So right now we're on the registration options. I can say I want the, um, the division, the age, and the grade, uh, and maybe the ID number. Uh, maybe I also want to see when they registered. You can choose those options here. Uh, and any of the custom fields as well, you can select those. Then let's say for the player, we click on player. We want to have the player ID, the name, uh, maybe their date of birth and an email address form. So we click on email. Now we also have, uh, say we want also, I just want the parent name and maybe some of the custom fields that are here, shirt size. So basically for every one of these options, it's going to display what we have. Also for evaluations, we're going to see any of the evaluations we want to see. Um, if there was an assessment done, we can see the assessment amount. So we can choose whatever fields we want and kind of build our own custom report from this. So now there's a couple other options in here. We have field order. So right now, this is the way the fields would display in the report. We'd have reg ID first, div, age, grade, reg date. We probably want the name to be up near the top. So maybe we want reg ID to show up. Uh, and now we want the player ID. So we want player ID, or excuse me, reg ID, player ID, then the name. Now we want to see division, age, grade, reg, and all the rest of the stuff can come after. But we can change the order of the fields that we like. We can also go to filter options, so we can add a filter line. So let's say the field that is uh, labeled shirt size, uh, we can click on that, and we only want to see people who ordered medium shirts. We want this report to be for how many medium shirts we need to order and keep a list of who gets those shirts. So we can do that, add that filter line. We can also add another filter line if we want it to say people whose shirt size are medium and small, if we want to add both of them in here, or we can say medium or small, um, or, or say it will me and would be if we wanted your shirt size to be medium. They have to answer shirt size to be medium and pant size to be medium. So both of those answers have to be there. Or would say, you know, let's see anybody who has shirt size medium or anybody who chose shirt size small. So that would show both areas where and would only show one that has both of those conditions applying. So now we have sorting options. So we can say we want everybody to be in order of Let's see, we want name, maybe, you know, add that to the sorting, name ascending. Um, I highly doubt we're going to have similar names, but if we have similar names, then we maybe want it by division, or vice versa. We may want division ascending, so everything done by division, and then do the name ascending. And then we have different grouping options, like if we have a group by sport, if we're doing multiple organizations or multiple leagues, uh, you can group by organization, um, you can group by individuals, and things like that. Um, but a couple of the options here you can change, you can add multiple options, you can add one in, you could use none, uh, you don't have to set these. 
The other thing is too, uh, down here we can actually save this report. So if we like these settings, if it's something that we're going to use over and over again, we could say this is the uh, medium shirt report. So now we have the medium shirt report. We type that in here and we click save new report. When we click save new report, it'll actually show up in the list here of our saved reports. So we can click this report again in the future and just easily pull up what we wanted. Now, um, once we have all of our options and we want to create our report, we click generate. Uh, depending on how many registrants you have, uh, this could take a little while. It all depends. It's got to go through each player, gather all the data, and get all the information. But once the report is generated, you'll see here we have export to CSV or view report. So if we want to view the report on the screen, we click view report. If we want an actual downloadable um, CSV file, we can click this. Uh, hit OK and you'll actually see it downloads the report for us here in CSV. So if we decide we want to view it on the page, we can click View Report and our report will come up. Uh, right now, the options that we chose, there's nobody with medium shirts, uh, so that one didn't come up. But if we go back here and we want to change our options for this report, so now we saw uh, that there's nobody with medium shirts answered um, and we want to just see everybody we can actually remove that filter line so if we go here and we go to filter options we can actually just take away our filter options here so maybe we want to see anybody who didn't answer that field so we can uh, go ahead and generate and see who didn't answer that field so maybe we need to go back and contact some players who didn't have a medium shirt answered or didn't answer shirt size um, we can see those players so we'll take again a couple seconds here to generate the report so once we get the report we can actually click view report and now we can see we have a lot of players who didn't answer uh, the actual shirt size question so now we have to contact them get a hold of them and figure out their shirt size or distribute this list to the coaches or the divisional re reps and they can actually fill this stuff in. So it's a nice way um, to actually get whatever information on a report that you need and you can actually download it into Excel and maybe you need to manipulate the data, change the way the date is displayed, maybe you need to just pull some different information out. Uh, if you're really good with Excel you can create formulas and things like that to, to manipulate the data however you like but it's a nice way to get the information that you need and create your own custom report. Uh, that's it for the report generate tool. Um, as always, stay tuned for more tutorial videos and thank you for using Manager League.